Hello there, thanks for joining me today. It's Vicki McCarthy again with another bright, beautiful box to show you. This is a particularly interesting little box because it is a no stick, no stamp gift box with its own little gift tag that you can write on the back of here to and from. And the only piece of adhesive on this is there's a dimensional on here. There are no other places you need to, to adhere anything and there is no stamping. So it's made with the watercolour designer series paper and it's the perfect size to fit a couple of tea light candles. So I'll show you how I made this. You'll need a piece of cardstock 8 and 1 quarter inches by 5 and a half inches and then on the 8 and 1 quarter inch side you are going to score at one and three quarters of an inch, two and a half inches, five and three quarters of an inch, and six and a half inches. And then you're going to turn it to portraits. And you're going to score it at one inch, one and three quarter inches, three and three quarter inches, and four and a half inches. And that's all the scoring that we'll need to do. I wanted a little box where I could fit a two inch piece in either end to fit the scallop tab topper in. And these were the measurements that I came up with. I also wanted something that I wanted to fit two tea light candles in side by side. And you can see as I'm folding along all the score lines there how the box is going to start to take shape. So there are four squares on each corner. You're going to cut them out first. Now I saw a similar box to this on the website of one of our lovely German demonstrators. Her name is Oksana. And she had something very similar to this. She'd used one that was going to require some adhesive and she'd rounded some extra corners and things. But I thought the measurements were pretty close to what I had come up with for the box. So thank you for the tips that you've given on making this box armor. Now all I'm going to do now is cut away the next squares. So it's easy to remember you're cutting. You're now going to cut the next small squares off. And they're roughly squares. They're actually rectangles, but they're, they're roughly a square shape. And you can get two of these out of a sheet of designer series paper, and then you have plenty left over to trim a card or to use for another purpose. So it's quite economical making these little boxes. It's a good way to use up any designer series paper that you've been hoarding, if you're like me. I tend to hoard my designer series paper and then I think, oh, I still haven't used that, I still haven't used it. So on the long side, you're going to cut up to the fold line and these are going to make the tabs that fold in at the sides. And then you're going to turn it 180 degrees. And then this is how the box is going to go together. All we need now to do is to create the scalloped topping. So to do that, all you need to do is fold the edges in. And I've done this, this with a couple of boxes where I've popped the top into the scallop tag topper. And it works really well. As long as this doesn't measure any wider than two inches, then it's going to fit. So push that all the way in, press down. If you didn't have the scallop tag topper, excuse me, that is, that is a tongue twister, isn't it? The, the scallop tag topper, you could use the angle tag topper and you could get something very similar. And that's your box. It's so fast, so simple and so easy. You just fold the edges in, fold it up and all it needs now is some ribbon to hold it into place. So I have some white organza ribbon and I'm just going to thread that through the top. So you pop a little tea light inside 
or you could probably fit some small chocolates in there. I tend to prefer to give gifts that aren't candy. I like to give things that people can keep. Some soy melts or some tea lights would be perfect. So I'm going to just tie a bow on the top. Nice and tight. And then you can start trimming the edges. And then to trim, there's a little trick for doing these fishtail ends, which I'll show you. All you do is you halve your ribbon. So you've got your ribbon in half like that, and you're going to cut at an angle like so, and that will give you the fishtail, the perfect fishtail finish. And again, on this side, same again. Fold your ribbon in half and cut up at an angle like that. And there's your cute little fishtail. Now, to allow you to put a little tag on the top that doesn't require any stamping or any sticking, what we're going to do is run a piece of ribbon back through that bow. Just slide it through like that, and we're just going to tie a single knot because you want whoever gets this as a gift to be able to open it. So you don't want to make it so tight that they can't get inside it. There we go. And then again, just trim off those little ends like fish tails. And now for making a tag that requires no stamping. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is use some of the Design Series paper. And I've found one of the whole pansies, the blue one here. You could pick up the pistachio pudding colour if you wanted to, but I like the blue. And I'm going to cut it out like so. And then I have some pistachio pudding cardstock, which I'm going to cut out, which will be the back of the tag, so you'll be able to write on it. Same again. Punch out one of those with the pansy punch. Punch a hole into one of the petals like that and then I can layer it up with dimensional. Just make sure you can't see the hole from the front. Pop on a dimensional. This is the only adhesive you're going to need on this entire project. Pretty cool. <laughs> no stamping at all. And you end up with something very sweet. Then you're going to layer it so you can't see that hole. Just like that. And then you're going to grab your end of that ribbon that we just tied through, the extra tail that we made on it. And you're just going to, because it's the organza ribbon, it's really going to be a nice firm hold for this project. Just going to pull it through like that. And you can see how that's going to sit. How gorgeous is that, the way that sits? It's just a divine, isn't it? It's got all these little extra tails. Really, really pretty ribbon. And this one has a large pearl in the middle, so I thought I'd try a large rhinestone with this one, just to be a little different. So that is one very sweet and beautiful little box. No stamping, no sticking. Just one dimensional is the only piece of adhesive that you have on the entire box. So how adorable is that? If you would like to shop for any of the supplies that we've used today, you can buy them from my online store, aussiestampers.stampinup.net.